Tink is here to help explain today's tree job. We've got a seriously dead booger in the backyard. Species unknown, it's been dead so long. And on the other side of the yard, we've got a maple with a big old limb that's gotta come down. So I think we'll take out the dead guy first, then we will tackle the maple. All right, I think I got everything out of the back. Kind of a pain to get in there, but anyway, uh, let's do the load out this way. Let's do a little wagon overview. I've got my throw line stuff in here. Helmet, far nasty with just a million little accessories and things. I got my spikes from 1812, recently repaired and doing just fine. A couple of lanyards under there. This, this little bag here, this is all my ascender stuff. I might use that today. We'll see. Uh, hatchet, axe, whatever you want to call it. A couple of ropes. One, my climbing rope, a rigging rope. Uh, my new saw. I've been using that big old silky saw. It's okay. It's a little big. Uh, some wedges. And then, last but not least, I guess I need some saws. You know, I don't know if you guys saw this, but I've been using this uh, Echo 2011. What is it? 2011T. It's not bad. It's a little bit underpowered, but it gets the job done. And then I'll bring my still. This little dude, a little bit heavier than the Echo, but it's got more juice. And then I'm gonna need the big boy, not the Poulon Pro. I'm gonna need the big boy, but I'm gonna wait on that because I'm not gonna need that for a while. Oh, look at her. She thinks she's going, you gotta stay here, baby. You gotta guard the gear in the truck. You gotta guard the green beast and all the stuff. All right, here it is. A good size tree. Uh, it's got some decay down here. I banged it, it wasn't too bad. The trick is gonna be not dropping things in everybody's yards. Uh, four backyards come together back here. And uh, the gal who owns this property also owns that one. So I can drop stuff here or there, but not really over there or over there. I'm gonna use that natural crotch right up there. Uh, set a line there, put my throw line up there. Two ropes, uh, one for me and one for rigging. I really only need to worry about a couple of big guys going this way and that way to lower them down. And otherwise I can just drop stuff this way. Um, except for this one. If I drop that one, it's gonna crush the fence. So. I gotta rig him a little bit. I have to resort to my other spurs. The bark is just thick. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm going with my other spurs. I'm just not getting through this stuff. All right, I'm just swapping out my uh, prehistoric spurs for these uh, newer ones that I've climbed on two or three times. They've got longer actual spurs, these guys, and I just need that to get through the bark. All right, a little slow going this morning, but uh, at least I'm set up now. His spikes are way better getting through the bark. Okay. All right, so this is that silky saw I was talking about. It's just a little bigger. than what I've been used to.
weird. This guy's decided to fertilize the yard while I'm taking the tree down, so I guess I'll have to wait until he's out of the way. I was talking to him earlier about taking the tree down, and he's like right underneath this limb, so I mean, I guess I could just fire up the saw, but um, I guess I'll wait for the fertilizing. Okay, he's leaving. Cool. By the way, uh, definitely an oak. You can just tell in the grain of the wood. Just to give you an orientation, this is that cross, that top cross where I had my line. you will drop these guys like some big boomers. gonna swing, smash right here, and then I'll lower it down. Come on. It's going. There we go. Such bangers. So dramatic. This oak is just so heavy. Ugh, even a small branch like that is just crazy heavy. He's going to try to help out. I think he's just hanging around to watch. Yeah, he's definitely doing a little more fertilizing under the tree care. Just, just this kind of strange choice, you know? Like, first of all, you really don't need to fertilize much around here. Second of all, it's like a really bad time to do it. Anyway, that guy's down. Okay, so this guy I've got notched here, and I'm just gonna drop it. Uh, not rigged at all, just because it's the top. So uh, back down a little bit. That's my former rigging point, and I'm just doing this down. Um, first, this dead dude, super dead dude. It's gonna be another one of these tanker piece of oak. Alright, this guy's like doubly rigged. We've got the top point there on a crotch here. Another advantage. The idea is to drop it pretty straight over the fence and then have it kind of drag and swing back to the trunk where I can either lower it or climb down and deal with it. I think 
that's it. Just trying to hold it. Get my saw out of the way. There we go. Alright. It's a big one. Just gonna ease off. Let's see if it pops. Yeah, there we go. So now I'll just lower it. It's probably going to end up standing straight up, but it might flop over. There we go. There we go. And just no, don't flop toward the fence <laughs> this way. <laughs> Who's always asking me, "Do you have help?" And I'm like, "No, no, I don't have help. Why do I need help? Well, this is like the moment you need help." Come on. I lost a little battery power in the middle of that one. Uh, so you missed the big guys coming down up top. They were pretty spectacular. That is a lot of oak. All right, uh, it's gonna take some bucking. Chop it up, roll it out of here. Also have to take care of the stump. Uh, but before I just spend myself over here and just wear myself out, I've gotta take out that maple limb there. So I'm gonna do that while I'm fresh and then buck everything and haul everything out of here. Ten thirty, Tuesday morning. Every month, I set off the alarms just to make sure we're listening. That's like the tornado sirens. Hey, you can see my oak. But sometimes when the tornadoes come through town, they don't even set them off. So, anyway. Oh. 
So just for an orientation, my anchor point's up top. I'm right now on the limb. Close to the house, but not quite on it. It's good. You know, you wouldn't want to go on the house. You know, you just kind of go close to the house. What's that? <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, pre cleanup summary. The old branch is toast. It's all down there, pretty much chopped up. This is the part of the oak that fell on this side little chopping. Fortunately I can haul this stuff out this way and then I still need to nuke my stump and cut up this bad boy and I'll roll these logs out this way. Alright, you guys want to see the stump? <laughs> Alright, here we go. But you know, a lot of good holding wood. Someone's living in there. Alright, this job is going to have two loads. The first one is going to my firewood pile. Alright, so it's almost all firewood. There's a few little sticks and everything in here. And what I do is I just dump it right here. Kind of out in here. And then I stack it up. And then my splitter is under the plastic. Right, in case I haven't shown you guys this before, uh, the guts live in here. I got ye old remote control, so let's go. Okay, I'm gonna sign off on this one, but I gotta say, my favorite part of this job was not the tree or hauling stuff or the fact that I've got a lot of nice oak firewood, but the fertilizer guy. The fertilizer guy, at first I thought he was just kind of crazy and annoying, but having thought about it a little bit more, it's more like he's one of those guys that in the face of danger, like in the face of absolute annihilation, is just like happy to do his fertilizer. It's just there's something about that guy. All right, thanks for checking out the video. It's not a how-to video. It's a story of how I did it, and I appreciate you checking it out.